more surprises Mike saw into view at the Singapore Air Show. On the first day of the 2024 show, Boeing had some issues that changed things. Boeing lost several billion, and all because of what? Boeing's passenger plane business is going through some tough times. Their big planes like the 777X are delayed, and there were safety problems with the 737 MAX. So they really need the 787 Dreamliner to do well to keep things steady. At this year's show, Boeing locked in an order for 49 Dreamliners, worth about $5 billion. But they've had to stop delivering planes a lot lately. They've had to stop delivering both the MAX and the 787 Dreamliner because the planes weren't made exactly right. These stops have really messed up airlines waiting for their planes and cost Boeing a lot of money. Boeing's lost $2.2 billion last year and a whopping $26.7 billion over the past five years. So getting orders for the 787 Dreamliner might help them stay in business a bit longer. Big airlines like United and Southwest even said they're not counting on getting their new 737 MAX planes from Boeing. Southwest is still waiting for the 737 MAX 7 and United's order for the MAX 10 hasn't been filled yet. The FAA haven't given the green light for these planes to carry passengers. United's boss, Scott Kirby, said a recent problem on an Alaska air flight made them think twice about getting the MAX 10 this year, like they planned. The biggest problem for Boeing was a mistake in how they designed the 737 MAX. It caused two crashes in 2018 and 2019, where 346 people died. After that, they couldn't fly the plane for 20 months. That's why everyone was shocked when Thai Airways suddenly ordered 45 of Boeing 787 Dreamliners. This move hurt Airbus because they were also trying to sell their A350 planes to the airline. It wasn't a big surprise when Thai Airways said they're sticking with the Dreamliner. People had been guessing about it since the end of 2023 when the orders popped up on Boeing's list without a name attached. The 2024 Singapore Air Show was just the right place to make this announcement. This year at the air show, everyone's talking about how the aviation business in Asia is getting back on track. Thai Airways ordering 45 of the 7879 planes shows they're serious about updating their big plane fleet for the future. People who watch the industry, working it, have been guessing about whether Thai Airways might switch some of their orders to the bigger 777X planes, but nothing certain yet. These new Dreamliners will be really important for Thai Airways' big plans for the future, like opening up new routes all over Southeast Asia and beyond. Boeing is talking up how good it is for the environment to have more 787s flying. They say these planes can cut down on fuel emissions by as much as 25% compared to older ones, which is a big deal. Because of the pandemic and money issues, Thai Airways is making changes to its fleet. They've decided to retire some of their big four-engine planes, like the A380, Getting rid of those big planes has made Thai Airways have fewer seats for a while. But now that they're getting new Dreamliners, it shows they're ready to grow again and be more competitive in the changing world of aviation. But Boeing had another success at the 2024 Singapore Air Show. Royal Brunei, a big player in all this, decided to get even more Dreamliners by ordering four extra 787-9 planes from Boeing. Royal Brunei is getting more Dreamliners as part of their plan to grow. They want to meet the growing demand for flights and also be more efficient and eco-friendly. They're choosing the 789 for a few reasons. So, Royal Brunei wants to make flying more comfortable for passengers, which is super important in the airline world these days. They're getting fancier planes with better seats and cool stuff to make travelling awesome for their customers. Another big reason is that Royal Brunei wants to break kinder to the environment. They're adding Boeing's eco-friendly 787 Dreamliner to their planes, which uses less fuel and are better for the planet. It's their way of joining the effort to make flying greener. The newer 787 planes are much better for the environment than the old ones. They're way more efficient and help the airline industry get closer to its green goals. Royal Brunei has been using the Dreamliner for a while now. They see it as a great way to connect with the world and run things smoothly. Royal Brunei's planes are about 9.4 years old on average. So by getting more Dreamliners, they're basically saying they really trust these planes to do a great job for them. Another reason Royal Brunei went with Boeing 787-9 is because it gives them more space and can fly longer distances. This means they can cover both short and long trips better, which fits perfectly with their plans to grow, reach more places smoothly. Another cool thing at this year's show was Vietjet. The big airline from Vietnam caught attention by making a deal with Airbus to buy 20 A330 NEO planes. The new A330 NEO planes will make flying better for passengers. They can go further, the ticket prices will be good. Because of this, important people in the airline world, like Willie Walsh and Brad McCullen, are saying nice things about Boeing, Vietjet. Walsh thinks it's smart that Vietjet is growing into bigger planes. He says it's important to be patient so that another company, COMAC, can become a stronger competitor. McCullen is impressed by how much Royal Brunei like the 787 Dreamliner. 
He says it's good at flying far distances, being flexible. They said he's sure the plane will help Royal Brunei connect with the world. The big boss at Boeing also thinks it's important that Royal Brunei is spending more on the 787 Dreamliner. Emirates President Tim Clark was worried about the engines not working well in really hot or tough conditions. But now they're planning to make them even better so they can last twice as long in those situations. This is good news for Airbus because it might help them get more orders, especially from places like the Middle East, and maybe even convince Emirates to buy the A350-1000. COMAC did pretty well at the show because Boeing's big plane, the 777X, wasn't there. This gave COMC C919 a chance to stand out. Even though the C919 didn't show up this year, it's still getting a lot of attention because it's been in the works for a long time and people are curious about it. There's this new smaller aeroplane, but they've only made about 10 of them. None of the big airlines from the other countries have said they want to buy it yet. But the fact that it exists shows that the company that made it, COMAC, think it's good enough to sell around the world. OK, so instead of aeroplane makers, we've got Starlux Airlines from Taiwan coming in fourth place. Even though Taiwan's airline market isn't huge, Starlux got a lot of attention at the show with its A330 Neo plane, which is the only one from both Boeing and Airbus there. Their awesome airplane cabins got really good reviews, and Starlux even ordered more A330 Neo planes and A350 freighters from Airbus, which made them even more popular. So the first not-so-great thing is the Airbus A350. Even though it was doing okay at first, it lost a big order from Thai Airways to the 787 Dreamliner. It's not just that they lost the deal, but the way they lost it is worrying. It seems like Rolls-Royce wanted to make more money by not offering big discounts on their engines on the A350. Because of that, Thai Airlines decided to go with the 787, which has engines made by GNX. The Rolls-Royce Trent XWB engine, even though it's really good at saving fuel, is only used in the A350 plane, which makes things tricky for Airbus. Boeing decided not to show off any of their planes at the event, unlike Airbus. Some people found this surprising, especially since the Asia-Pacific market is getting bigger fast. This choice might have something to do with recent stuff that happened, like the Alaska door plug program mess. That could mean more delays in getting Boeing's planes certified. Boeing is trying to dodge difficult questions by not showing up in public. They don't want to face tough situations on a big platform. Boeing had another problem with its cargo plane business. Even though Boeing has usually been in the top player in this area, the A350 freighter is now becoming a big challenge for them. Starlux ordering potentially 10 A350 freighters is a big deal for Airbus. It means Airbus has got more orders for their A350 freighter than Boeing for their 787F. The A350F can carry more stuff, which could mean Boeing might not be in charge of the cargo plane market for much longer. So do share your thoughts in the comments below, and also don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button before you go. We'll meet you in the next one.